Hi guys, welcome to Java Express channel. So in the previous video, I explained about the theory concept. So in this session, I will explain how you need to the hands on, how you need to create SQS, uh, how you need to publish a send a message, how you need to receive all diagrams I explained in the previous video, right? So we need to see the few steps like uh, to the uh, in order to create SQS, you need to follow few sequential steps. The first step is like you need to choose which type of a queue. So like we have a two types of queues, right? Like a standard queue and the FIFO queue. So in this session, I explain about the standard queue. What is the importance? How you need to configure all the parameters? How you need to provide the queue name? And we saw some benefits, right? While using Amazon uh, SQS, you need to provide the security, right? How you need to configure and encryption is also there by using uh, Amazon on KMS right and we have one more concept dead letter queue if you see here this dead letter queue is a separate session I will explain why because you need to configure two queues then you need to configure the dead letter queue also right now you no need to worry about that part we'll do the basic session in this session okay so let me start my uh, AWS so I already logged in so if you don't know click on the services and we have an application integration a menu in this application integration we have a simple notification service and simple queue service already we gone through the sns already in the previous videos so this is the topic i'm explaining now okay just click on the simple queue service so once is once it is open here you can see the small diagram how it work what are the benefits everything is providing in the documentation itself okay just quickly create the create a queue here you can choose which type of the queue if you choose standard queue at least once delivery why because consumer need to consume at least one message also this is follow best effort ordering not like complete 100 percent so it will be follow like uh, if you send a message five messages the order may vary also okay here you can provide a queue name here any let me give a first uh, like and say first yes queue yes uh, let me give it this is my queue name okay and here if you see these are all the configuration parameters which parameter what is the importance i already explained so once again here this is a visibility timeout within this time they need to configure he consumer need to visible to that why because one consumer is already received so it will be invisible to the other consumer this is a retention period you can give max uh, seconds to the 14 days max retention period if no one is consumed suppose information so it will be delete automatically okay and we have a, a delivery delay parameter and it should be between seconds to the minutes okay all attributes i already explained so i am not repeating now and this is a maximum limit 256 kb and this is the concept this some the polling concept i will explain a separate video as part of the dlq it's like a dead letter queue right now you can keep as a, a default parameters okay and here you can provide a security security means like i already explained who can send a message who need to receive like is a specific aws account you have another aws account you can give access to specific that account okay right now i'm giving a default options and these three are like optional parameters we'll discuss later once you are good at the queue how you need to configure then we'll see uh, how you need to change the parameters okay and while creating the queue if you if you want to change to fifo you cannot why why because while creating itself you need to configure only one time okay just let me create a queue so it is taking some time see the queue uh, first text queue yes queue created successfully okay once this queue is completed you can see all the configuration parameters what you given when you created what are the parameters if you want to configure again you can click on the edit so that you can uh, choose you can change the parameters configuration parameters you can choose okay and here there is an option send and receive messages click here okay here you can send your message body what you want to send so what i will do i will take some json data sample from the google okay so let me grab the json data here so in the java t point they are providing some sample data so let me copy 
just grab and paste it here okay here you can choose uh, the message whatever you want now you want to send suppose java i want to send as java click here send message here while sending also you can choose the parameter you can configure also okay so if you see here as part of the receive messages i given as a zero seconds if i choose as zero immediately deliver to the consumer that's why it is showing message available as zero if you pull your messages if you observe the diagram uh, you can get to know have idea in the diagrammatic way okay so if you see here there is a size 129 bytes the count is only one time if you click here here you can choose this is called a message identifier what you are sending your why because in the real time lakhs and crores of messages you can send to your queue also okay and if you choose here hash uh, is a hashing algorithm whatever you send the message text the whole text will be converted to a one identifier hashing algorithm md5 of messaging body okay at the what time what is the size everything is a common if you click on the body see this is the message i sent as a producer and these attributes this attributes as of now i didn't give it so what i will do now same message body i will send i will send as a java express i am given some salary and uh, some uh, i want to remove this attribute only two attributes i am providing now here what i will do observe here i am giving as a 10 seconds as a my delivery delay immediately won't available to the consumer here and here you can provide the name what you can give i will give as a employee details employee details and here i'm providing json data just i'm giving some attribute information click on send message here invalid message attribute name so you need to provide uh, no spaces anything so what i will do employee details send message if you send here see the message still not at available here why because we given a uh, deliver delivery delay given as a 10 seconds after 10 seconds it will be visible to you now you need to click on the poll for messages see now the receive count is 2 let me poll see now right now the message 2 is available if you click here go for the body still it is not at visible it is taking some time so the receive count is 4 and messages is available so if you want to poll settings here you can provide the polling duration uh, you can provide some 30 or how many you want you want to give you can and a maximum message count you can provide should be 1 and triple 9 so you can configure in this way the settings also you can send any number of messages in this way here you can provide as 0 you can see the receive count is increasing let me click the send message here if i poll your message the count will be keep on now it is a one why because within the time it is expired the message previous messages why because i given a visibility time or 30 seconds so now is a new message is received as a java express and salary if you click on attributes see i given as attribute name as employee details the type is a string and providing some json data maybe in the real time you can give as a dev environment production environment if you want to tag something you can choose that attributes option so this is the way you need to configure your uh, sending and receiving messages so in the next session i will explain about uh, there is a concept of a dead letter queue and the long polling this is very important topic in the real time like if you do the amazon payment suppose um, you done a credit invalid credit cards you given okay so this credit card detail invalid details it should it should store somewhere in the queue right so what we'll do we'll create another queue we will check two times if the details are correct then we'll go and proceed in the success state if not correct then we'll send you another queue and we'll store all fraud transactions inside that queue so i hope you guys are clear uh, about sqs if you feel any difficulty just leave your comments in the video section and i will clarify and we have a group also facebook group just you can uh, click this link i will provide this link in the next uh, in the below video section just hit the subscribe button to get more updates thank you guys we'll see you in the next tutorial